for Tracy Leibowitz Rosenberg. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna confess right now that's my family, the asshole, the cold kid, and the pothead. We put the fun in dysfunctional. <laughs> you know what I hate? Ask me what I hate. What do you hate? Funny you should ask that. I hate when people say to me, you're a comedian, say something funny. I'm like, really? You're a douche. Clean my vagina. But anyway, that's about as dirty as I get. I don't, I don't really do dirty. I do more innuendo, Italian suppositories. But anyway. Um, I have a lot of my family here, some friends here, a bunch of new friends. Thank you for coming out tonight. Um, sitting over there, we have a bunch of theater and music majors. That means they'll all be waiting tables in a couple of months or so when they will realize that was a dumb thing to do. Um, what else can I tell you about myself? I recently lost um, 33 pounds. Thank you very much. I know I have a long way to go. Looking at me and seeing Finn is like looking at Donald Trump and seeing a president. Am I allowed to say that in the Taj Mahal? Holy shit, did I just do that? But I am on my way to a lifelong dream. I'm going to be a MILF. And I'm very excited about it. So um, that, that's one thing about me. I'm also I'm Jewish, in case you couldn't tell from my name, Leibowitz Rosenberg. Wow, what an epic change I made, right? My daughter has an issue. She doesn't want to be Jewish. She told me on election day that I should vote to be Catholic. So I said to her, Samantha, I call her Samantha because that's her name, in case you were confused. But anyway, I said, Samantha, why do you want to be Catholic? We're Jewish. She was like, well, I want to celebrate Christmas. I want the pretty trees and the pretty lights and the nice music. Ding. Music teacher by day, comedian by night. So I said, so, all right, Samantha, I am going to write you a song. I am full of shit. Jews and music, let's hear it. Really, if you hear... Dun, 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 dun. Something Jewish is about to happen. So I ripped her off a very wholesome Christmas song and I came up with this for my daughter. <clears throat> I wasn't eating kosher food, somebody snitched on me. I wanted food that tasted good, somebody snitched on me. Bacon, ham, and sausage too. Things you don't eat when you're a Jew. Makes the rabbi say shame on you, somebody snitched on me. Oh, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do next year. I'll have to write another goddamn song. My son is okay with this Jew thing. You know what his issue was? I'll tell you what his issue was. How many of you went to CCD? Clap if you went to CCD. Clap harder if you bitched about going to CCD. Yeah, I have no sympathy for you people. What was it, like an hour a week? Mm. Hebrew school, two and a half hours twice a week. Five hours of Jew school. Kill me now. So every week I would hear it from my son. Mom, why do I have to go to Hebrew school? I don't want to go to Hebrew school. Can we go to McDonald's instead? And I finally laid it on the line. I said, Stephen? Call him Stephen because that's his name. Anyway, I said, Stephen, the Jews have been suffering for thousands of years and now it's your turn. Shut up and go to Hebrew school. So he did and we haven't been back in Temple since he was 13. He's now 22. I don't give a shit. Anyway, I'm a bad Jew. Uh, just out of curiosity, how many married couples do we have here today? Married couples? Nice. Any engaged couples? Any people just sleeping together? All right! Awesome, you probably have the best sex out of everybody in this place, the coke kid and the pothead. All right, so, next month is my 28th wedding anniversary. Next month, yes. I got the best gift ever for my 19th anniversary. Ask me what I got, you pothead. <laughs> Funny you should ask that. My divorce became final. <gasps> you know how they say you never really know a person until you marry them? It's so true. I didn't know that my ex-husband snored really loud. I thought I was going to wake up one morning and like my feet would be dangling from his mouth. I didn't know that when he brushed his teeth, he brushed his tonsils. <clears throat> oh, and I didn't know he was gay. Yeah, my marriage was a real fairy tale. He married me for my brothers. There's one of my brothers right now. He's a good looking kind of guy, you know. I love when people say to me, did you know he was gay when you married him? Yeah, because I want him screaming out his name when I'm in bed with him. I don't think so. I should have seen the signs though. I should have, because he gets really pissed off if he misses an episode of Dancing with the Stars. He loves Cher. 
Oh, and he loves that movie Fun with Dick and Jane, but hey, you are what you eat. Whatever. Oh, that was bad, right? You know what's really sad about being married to a gay man, though? Ask me what's really sad about being married to a gay man. What's really sad about being married to a gay man? It's funny you should ask that. It really stinks that my ex-husband can give a better blowjob than I can. <laughs> Too much? Sorry. <laughs> well, it's the truth, okay? I actually wrote a chapter in a book. I did. This is a real book. I swear to God. It's called How I Made My Husband Gay. I wrote a chapter and it comes with a magic wand. So don't piss me off because you will be a gay pothead. I have the power. I do. Don't fuck around with me. You know, like this Kim Davis chick, she refused to give out those, uh, those marriage licenses to the gay couples. I think she's way off the mark. I am all for gay marriage. Am I off the mark here? I think they should be allowed to get married because then they'll marry each other and leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Thank you. I started a song for him, it goes, Jeff's nuts roasting on an open fire, but I didn't finish that one. I did write another one for him that I did finish. It goes like, it's the holiday season, I'm in the mood. So it goes like this. <clears throat> Deck the halls with lots of condoms, fa la 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 If there's a gay man, oh, I will find him, fa la 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 Don is just as gay as Harold, fa la 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 Frosted hair and gay apparel, help me out here. Thing. That's pretty good. All right. So my parents, we sent them off to camp to Century Village in Florida, and my parents discovered a hobby. They discovered ceramics. I have every goddamn Disney character known to man. I have so many figurines. But my mother, I said to her mom, "Why don't you make something that I can put in my house and both, you know, my ex-husband and I can enjoy together?" I swear to God, my mother made this. My mother made it. She says it's a bagel holder. I think it looks more like a creamer. Don't you think? It started off much smaller, but when she started sanding it, well, you know what happens. Obviously, it was not modeled after a Jewish guy. Because we don't make them like this. We take off three inches off the top at eight days old. It's a stupid idea, but we do it. So yeah, my mother made that, and I started a little business in honor of my ex-husband. You can get these on the web. I married a gay man, and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> so I will, I will leave you with this one thought. Uh, a friend of mine asked me if the bagel holder comes with batteries. And I told her, no, it's, it's ceramic, it doesn't come with batteries. And she said, good, because I wouldn't play with those kind of toys anyway. Ask me why she won't play with those toys. You made your voice come out of his mouth. That was awesome. You're freaking talented. She said she won't play with these toys because she's afraid. She will have a heart attack and die, and that's how they'll find her. I would be so proud of her. I'd be like, you go, girl. My name is Tracy Rosenberg. Enjoy the rest of the show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.